All right, guys, so today we are going to be taking a look at what I must say is uh, one of the more interesting campaigns that Bandai has ever run in the history of this game. And that, of course, is the 7th anniversary Dokkan Scout campaign. Obviously, this is meant to bring as many people back to the game as possible for the upcoming anniversary celebration. And it does require us to put in a little bit of work, but we can all get up to 50 free dragon stones from it, so it's definitely worth the effort, in my opinion. So, yeah, with that said, let's uh, dive right into it, starting with the uh, description here. It says, Scout talents by inviting friends and aim to complete the missions together. Dragon stones can be obtained by completing the missions. And the event period is basically right now, uh, June 29th to... Uh, August 17th, so we got about a month and a half. And here are the event details slash instructions. So step one, you want to create your own unique scouting code. Step two, you send that code to the person who you want to invite, and that person has to scan the code through the game. There's an option there. And then once that person scans the code, then you can both complete missions together to get Tons of dragon stones, and once again, that's up to 50 free dragon stones per person, which is uh, pretty significant. You know, that's a good amount of stones. That's a free multi, or more than a multi if it's discounted, right? So, yeah, a good amount of stones. And uh, it also says scout talents by inviting friends, work together to complete the missions, and obtain rewards. You can complete the scouting process by asking the player you want to invite to scan the scouting code created on the Dokkan Scout campaign page. After the scouting process is completed, missions will become available for you and the scouted player. So they seem to be uh, repeating themselves a little bit here, but I think they just want to be like super clear with the instructions. So yeah, once again, it's very simple. You create the code, you send the code, that person who receives it scans the code and then you guys will get missions which give a lot of dragon stones right okay so um next up is some information about the scout which is the person who's sending the code the requirement for that person is that they have to have completed the greatest warrior which is the set of uh panel missions related to the free to play fizz lr goku you have to complete all of them in order to uh scout people and you can scout up to a maximum of 30 players. It says the scout missions will become available after the scout process or scouting process is completed. You can get rewards when the players you invited complete the welcome missions. Makes sense. And then there's information about the scouted player, which is the person that's receiving the code. Uh, requirement, meet any of the following conditions. Player rank 100 or below or currently receiving the returning login bonus. So they either have to be a beginner, right? Someone who hasn't played the game for a long time and are below, you know, rank 50, or there's someone who hasn't played the game for a while and after they come back, they are receiving the returning login bonus. So in either of those cases, that person would be eligible for this uh, scouting thing or be scouted, right? So you can't really just send it to anybody. It has to be someone who's very low rank, under 100, or is receiving the returning login bonus. Uh, the welcome missions will become available after the scouting process is completed and uh, complete the missions to get up to 50 Dragon Stones. Scouting period from uh, June 29th, which is right now, to... Uh, wait, hold on. It's August 10th, but it says here August 17th. So I'm guessing maybe... You know, after the 10th, you can't scout any more people, but if they haven't completed some missions, then they still have time to do that, so that's probably why there's a difference of like a week, right? Uh, yeah, so yeah, until August 10th to scout people, and it says, please note that you will not be able to scout talents after the above period ends, even if the event period of the Dokkan Scout campaign has not ended. Makes sense. How to sta uh, scout talents. How to scout talents. Can't talk right now, man. It's late. I just came back from the gym. I'm tired, but we'll push through. Okay, how to scout talents. Step one, tap Dokkan Scout on the home screen. Okay, so you click that button, 
and then uh, two tap start scouting and then you get your uh, own unique scouting code and then you ask your friend to scan the scouting code and this is basically just a repeat of what the pictures say so yeah step one tap scouting or dokkan scout on your home screen step two tap the start scouting to create a scouting code and then you send it to people and uh, step three the scouting missions will become available after the scouting process is completed the scout missions uh, will be completed as the players you scouted complete the welcome missions. Up to 50 dragon stones can be obtained through the scout missions. Uh, a scouted player completes the welcome missions, the corresponding welcome mission or scout mission is completed, and then you will get your dragon stones. How to accept a scout's invitation. So if someone sends you a code, right, like your friend wants you to become their scouted person, then you tap on Dokkan Scout, you tap on Scan, and then you can scan that code that they sent you. So if you're getting scouted, then you use the scan feature, okay? And there's a repeat of the, the pictures once again, so I'm not going to read that. Um, here are the missions. They're really, really basic. The welcome missions are like, you know, you log in for two to seven days, you clear a quest stage five times, um, raise your power level on my profile to a thousand or above, which is really really easy. Like that's nothing. You gotta level up like one link to a thousand or not a thousand. One link to level ten, or you know like put in some potential orbs, and you should get to a thousand very quickly. And uh, raise the pixel character on my profile to level five or above. That's just playing the game. And then raise your rank up to a hundred, between sixty to a hundred for. The final missions and there's also this other feature which says the scout will be there to lend a hand so while you're being scouted the person that's scouting you will become like a special friend I guess that maybe you can use as many times as you want I'm not 100% sure about that but um, yeah they become like a special scouter support friend so that's kind of cool and what else? A bunch of other notes. Um, trying to see if these are really relevant or necessary to read. You know what? There's a lot of notes here. A lot of notes here, so I'm not going to read everything. But if you guys want to take a look, feel free. Obviously, you can see this in your game too, so you don't have to like try to read it through the video. But uh, there you go, guys. That is the Dokkan Scout campaign. Really, really cool. Really interesting. Um... I always appreciate free stones, so I'm definitely a big fan of this. So just to demonstrate how this works, we're gonna quickly go through it. Uh, there is the Dokkan Scout button, as you can see, beside Khalifla's left hand. Okay, on my screen, you click that Dokkan Scout, and then there's a little description, which is basically what I just went through. You close that, and click Start Scouting. And I guess that is just my code right there, guys. Yeah, that's my code right there. Um, now, I just did this for demonstration purposes. If you wanna scan it, you can feel free. No pressure, no expectations, but it would be cool, <laughs> you know? It'd be nice, because having those extra 50 stones will definitely, uh, you know, benefit me for the upcoming seventh anniversary summons, of which we're gonna be doing a lot on this channel. Now, this is just going to be a drop in the bucket because I have to buy thousands of stones to really uh, have enough for all the summons I'm planning to do. But if you want to go ahead and scan it, I mean, it's there. Like, it's it's up to you. It's up to you. But if you don't want to, it's all good. Okay, because I'm sure I can find 30 people somehow to do this on Twitter or something like that. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, there's the code. You can create your own. Send it to people. Maybe be like one of those people on Twitter that's just like posting it everywhere. I'm not sure if it's working, but I've seen this code or people's codes literally everywhere. So um, you can maybe try that or, um, you know, there's a lot of Dokkan like groups out there uh, you can potentially try. So good luck. Hopefully you guys are able to, you know, scout the people that you need to get your stones. And uh, you can also click scan right there. Um, wait, hold on. 
Oh, you know what? I can't scan. I can't scan because I don't meet the requirements. I'm not getting the returning login bonus or, you know, below rank 100. So, uh, yeah, I can't really show you how that works, but you get the point. Click the scan button. It's probably going to use your camera to, you know, uh, scan the QR code, the scouting code, and you're good to go. So, uh, that's it, guys. That is the scouting what's it called again dokkan scout campaign very interesting once again um get your stones guys get your stones you got a long time so if you're having trouble um you know finding people immediately you got like a month and a half to get it done i don't even know if you need to really like find all like like 30 people i don't think it's necessary to scout 30 people actually maybe yeah, how many people do you really need to scout to get all the 50 stones? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out, but um, give it a shot. Good luck. Give it a shot. If you, Is there a way to post pictures on YouTube? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I know there's been some recent innovations um, on YouTube, but I've been so out of it. I've been like so busy with other stuff outside of the channel that... I even know if like they added a feature to post pictures on comments on YouTube. If that's a thing, yo, go ahead and do it. Definitely go for it in the comments. If not, um, then sorry. <laughs> I guess that's not an option. But guys, that's it for me. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you guys are excited for the seventh anniversary. We are a week away, guys. A week away. It's absolutely insane. It really is, and I uh, hope you're excited for all the content that's coming up on the channel, because uh, I'm stoked to be making it for you guys, especially the summons. That's going to be awesome. So, yeah, I will see you. <clears throat> it's gone off my voice, man. <clears throat> Yo, I might be getting sick. It's a bad time to be getting sick, but we push through. We'll be okay. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs>